welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new welcome back if you've been here before so today's video is a little different i am doing a uh, well it's just to watch me install my wig basically that's what it is watch me customize and install it um here i did attempt to do a video um the first time this is not how the wig originally looked um this wig is from Eunice um, Hair, and it's their 16-inch 5x5 HD closure. Um, I will link the the link down to the wig below. But the um, the wig was longer, of course. I cut it, I bleached the knots, um, and now you see me just customizing the front a little bit and um, just plucking. Um, just to give it that kind of realistic look. Um, this hair is... Um, it was pretty thick um it is pretty thick as uh, it is pretty thick like i said um i love the hair um yeah i'm, I'm just learning um how to do my own hair now because these hair stylists they be charging an arm and a leg just for a little install like this when i could just do it myself so lately i've just been trying to do my own hair i'm not really a hair person but i'm learning to be a hair person I've always been into like makeup and stuff, but I've never really knew how to do my hair. So here, um, you just see me plucking the front a little bit. Then after that, I'm just um, marking where I should put the glue, um, where it should begin. Yeah. So then I'm just gonna go in with my um, ghost bond. I think that's what it is, ghost bond glue. Um, and I'm just gonna add a layer of that. I do do add about two layers of this and I just add it and I just wait for it to dry clear um I usually don't use glue like because <laughs> I have really thin edges like my hair is thin so I really try to stay away from the glue and I just basically just use like um the got to be spray which works just fine for me and I honestly like that better because sometimes when I do try to apply my frontals or anything with the glue, like, I feel like it just leaves, like, a white cast. So, um, I like the Gossipy Spray better anyway. And I use the purple bottle. I forgot what exactly it's called. But I use the purple and blue bottle of the Gossipy Spray, um, usually, and I apply it. Um, but here I just use this glue. So then I just go ahead and it's just apply the front of that wig um, onto where I applied the glue at. Um, then I just uh, use my comb to just press it down because you don't want to use your fingers because all the oils and it just makes it turns white, turn white if you do use your fingers and you have a lot of oil on there. But this wig was pretty nice. It was easy um, to bleach. It bleached in about 20, I want to say 30 minutes. Um, but now you see me here going in with some spritz and I'm just spritzing that in the front and then after that I'm just going to tie it with my elastic band um, just to um, melt it. So um, yeah, which is just going to help it like melt and lay down. Like these bands are so hard to put on. <laughs> As you can see, I was struggling so hard here trying to tie it. And then when you tie it, sometimes it's so tight and it just hurts your ear. So don't tie it too tight. Just tie it tight enough, but not too tight to the point where it's going to give you a headache. But um, yeah, the wig, I have no complaints so far. Um, it was easy to bleach. Like I said, I bleached it in like 27 minutes. And after that, I just used the purple shampoo just to tone it down a little bit. And then before I put on the wig, I just went in with my foundation, um, cream foundation, um, and just applied that um, onto the lace a little bit so it can just match my skin a little better. And honestly, guys, I'm learning. I'm not an expert at this. You guys are going to see me learn how to do my own hair. Um, we can do it together. You can just watch me and maybe learn a couple of tips and tricks from me. Um, I learned how to do all these things by just watching um, my hairstylist and just watching other YouTubers do it and just buying these products that they use and just using their tips and tricks as well. So this is how I learned. But now I'm just going in with a hot comb and I'm just um, hot combing my hair and just making it flat in the front because you don't want a, a lumpy a lumpy unit on your hair. I hate when girls have in a bob and it just looks so lumpy. It looks like a helmet. Like it looks like they have a helmet head. So um, here I'm just trying to um, hot comb that down and make it as flat as possible. 
and um yeah i'm just here combing it trying to make it look as realistic as possible it is lace you can only make it look so realistic but we can try to give ourselves that arrogance hey look but <laughs> Here I just removed the um, elastic band and you see like it has melted. Um, it's still kind of a little white cast there, um, which does go away. But like I said, I don't really use glue just because of my edges. I'm trying to preserve them. And also because of the white cast, that's why I just stay away from the glue. Um, I do use the spray, which is so much easier for me and it just looks so much more melted. But with the spray, it just doesn't last. But with the glue, it lasts so much longer. So right now you just see me combing um the hair back just to I, it was like little flyaways and little hair stuck to my forehead so i was just combing that back um in order to just start my baby hair process um like i said i did attempt to try and install this wig before so i i did cut my baby hairs already but it kind of got blended in so i had to um cut it cut some a little more um here i'm just parting it i do two baby hairs on my like not temple area but like on the top of my forehead i don't really know how to explain it but i just do two little baby hairs there because i wanted my closure to have like a frontal effect if you understand what i'm saying it's a closure but i kind of wanted it to look like a frontal um so here i'm just plucking the the baby hairs a little bit so it's not too thick and it just doesn't look too much um, so I'm just going ahead and plucking it a little bit then I'm just gonna go ahead and use my razor and just cut um, the baby hairs Like doing baby hairs used to be really really hard for me but I learned this trick which I will show you guys in a bit so it, it has became easier doing baby hairs on um, a wig because I know how to do my own baby hairs when I do my my hair but on a wig it was always so hard for me to do it but thanks to this trick that I'm about to show you guys next I've been able to do it so I'm just going ahead using that um, hot iron again and just um, flattening that hair because I really want that that unit flat even though my braids are really really flat um, my head is small I have a really small head so and my hair is thin so so now I'm actually just gonna go ahead comb those baby hairs out then curl it with this little tiny I want to say one inch curling iron not curling iron flat iron I think or a half an inch flat iron I'm not really sure the measurements but that kind of helps with um, molding your baby hairs in just puts it into place and I just go in with go in with some edge control I use edge, edge control for my baby hairs because it's just so much easier instead of just using the spray and which makes the baby hairs hard, but the edge control doesn't really make it hard. It just makes it, you know, like how edge control makes your baby hairs. But here you see it's so much easier for you for you to swoop your um, your baby hairs um, and just put them into place. Um, of course, I'm not an expert at this. I am still learning. I'm still learning. So this is just how I do my baby hairs for now. Um, I felt like they were a little too long, so I went ahead and cut them. But I don't know. I felt weird after I cut them, but I don't know. Well, but overall, like, the unit came out looking nice. Like, I didn't... I liked it. I wish I had cut both sides the same way, because this side, I didn't cut as short as the other side. But it is what it is. Like I said, I'm learning. It's a learning experience for me as it is for you but i'm just going ahead trying to perfect those baby hairs and that side looked too spaced out so i just went ahead with the comb and just try to fix it 
So I do just go back in with the elastic, elastic band just to help mold those baby hairs in a little bit more. Um, yeah, so I probably leave that on for about two to three minutes just to help mold that and take it off. And then I just continue doing the rest of my hair. Um, so I did already um, flat iron this hair, but it kind of got bent up in certain places. So I had to go back in and flat iron it again. And yeah, so now you're just going to see me flat ironing um, the rest of my hair. And honestly, the rest of the video is explanatory. I mean, it's self-explanatory. You can, uh, yeah, it's, you just, you're just you just going to watch me complete this hair. There's, um, just watch and you learn because I'm a visual learner. Um, so if I watch something, it's easier for me to learn it um, that way than someone trying to explain it to me. So yeah, I'm going to let you guys continue watching this video. Um, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you didn't enjoy it. Um, make sure that you do so you are subscribed to my channel and turn on your bell notifications so you are notified of the next time I post up a video. Um, and leave me a comment down below of any other questions you would have in regards to this unit or just any questions in general. Um, once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I shall see you in my next one. Bye! this is the completed um look for the hair <laughs> i guess um uh, this unit i don't know if i mentioned it in the beginning this is from uh unis unice unis um it's a full lace wig a full lace hd wig um it's a five by five closure and uh, yeah i love this wig um i'll give it a 10 out of 10 because I really didn't have any issues with it like it's really really thick this was uh, 16 inches I'll leave all, everything to the, the wig down below the description of the wig um, I'll even leave the link down below this video is not sponsored I wish it was sponsored so Eunice if you are seeing this I am gonna start definitely getting more of um, more wigs from Eunice so if you want to send me a couple of wigs so I can uh, just um do tutorials on that would be cool as well but this video is not sponsored yet but it will be a couple of my videos will be 
in a few so yeah so again thank you guys so much for watching this video uh, make sure you leave me a comment down below make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and last but not least make sure you are subscribed to my channel for real girl like just join the family but i'll see you guys in my next one bye